Can I say something without marching up and going on camera? We really appreciate you. Uh, it's very nerve-wracking to talk in front of you. People have excited me over and over. You have to work here by me. <laughs> hey, my name is Terry Black. I've lived out here for 40 years. I own the Grand Island Mansion, remodeled the Ride Hotel, built a golf course there, remodeled three buildings in Lock. Put my money where my mouth was out here for 40 years, long before anybody else was interested in it. There's just been a handful of us who recognized the value of Lock as an artist community, historically speaking, with a Chinese background. We've been abandoned by the county and only ruled over by the county when we got out of line. We've received no help. That is the greatest asset we have in the southern part of the county. All of these towns are tremendous assets, but they're treated like shit. That the facade lock, I don't know who's responsible, whether it's the boat owner or the housing owner, we need the lot we need to have an overall plan of where that town is going not who does the toilet and who does the drain that's your job we need people here to design a program for the future of that town either recognize it as the incredible asset that it is or just flat out wash your hands of it and let us do our own thing out there but so far today all i've heard is all these men up here who are dispensing rules well where does that leave us i mean that town is falling apart the star theater on main street is going to collapse right in front of somebody someday there is no pressure to fix it up there's no grant there's no help there's no concern there's absolutely no interest shown by the county i have no idea what this meeting is about i'd like to see some people get together with a plan all these planners get together with a goddamn plan for that town and stick with it. Clean up the facade, restore the historicity and the Chinese nature of it. All the signs have been bleached out. Nobody gives a damn. There's a bunch of disparate owners, poets, writers, movie makers, farm laborers, restaurants. I mean, it's a great group of eclectic people, but they don't communicate because within that community, it's like a soap opera. There are tons of minor wars and encampments of people who have actually gone there. Because there's no help from the outside. They've actually turned on each other on these issues. We don't, we're right into potholes. We have drainage issues. We have so many issues, it's unbelievable. I mean, there's no possible way to compare what happens in Tombstone on the Delta than in some suburban development in South Sacramento. This town is a historical piece of art, but the building department wants to lay down the law on the staircase, what that is. The people in there are broke and they're just trying to keep this thing afloat with no goddamn help from this group of people, except for people telling us what the rules are, what the rules are, what the rules are. Fuck it, I've been here for 40 years listening to the rules, watching the town, this incredible asset, deteriorate. I'm sorry, my time. Thank you. He's a grand way. He can right. fix the Star Theater right here. This man can cut a check. And we can salvage a historical, absolutely critical building in the historical Main Street of Lux. 25 grand, we're going to take care of it. Of course, I'm going to talk about the drainage. 